what's going on guys welcome back to the channel <laughs> vikings is here we are back and i'm ready i'm ready so first of all let me say to y'all man thank you guys you guys are awesome man like the channel is still growing even though i'm not really uploading to the channel right now um but i thank you guys man i thank you guys i'm you know you know my motto or what I say all the time, it's not really a motto. Gratitude is never enough. And I, I have to tell you guys, thank you for sticking around and being patient. And this holiday season has been really rough for me time-wise. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really glad that you guys are sticking around and not unsubscribing to the channel. So thank you. Anyways, Vikings. Season 4. I'm going to be doing two episodes today, episode 12 and 13. Yeah, 12 and 13. So, yeah, man, things are heading to a place where Vikings is, it, the, you can follow the plot, but there's still some confusing parts of it where they do a very good job of explaining certain things to you. But there's still some other confusing part. I mean, in the last episode, <laughs> Ragnar tried to kill himself and the guy said, nope. <laughs> not today <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i think odin saved and saved his life Cause I, I think ragnar really just wants to end his misery because he knows what he's been doing and certain things that he's done is wrong he left you know what i'm saying he left and now he's back now he wants he he wants to go to england he wants to go to wessex and here was um, I don't, he's going there by himself. He doesn't have an army to go with because Bjorn wants to go somewhere else. He wants to go explore, you know, Mediterranean and see over parts over there to see what's happening over there. And Ragnar wants to go see about his son, Magnus. So we'll see what's going on. But thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. And I will see you guys for the review. Stick around for the review because come back go watch the episode and come back the episodes and come back for the review man really do appreciate y'all see you guys for the review all right so let's talk about it let's talk about it it's these two episodes we and that's what i said like even confusing stuff about about plot lines you know, you just got to go with the flow. There were some bars. There were some bars that were spit in these two episodes, man. Like, some really good quotes. Damn, I had to stop and write one down, man. Because there's some really good stuff that they're using Ragnar's character. And it kind of... It, it, I like what they're doing with his character because it shows you growth. In um, Character development is one of the things that... I love about this show so much and I think a lot of other shows could take a page out of how they're writing these characters because the character development like you can't keep a character on the same wavelength throughout seasons I mean this is only the fourth season and we're already I mean after the time skip Ragnar is way better than before time skip Ragnar I like this Ragnar better because he's very reflective um you know, there's also the saying that's, that's, you know, the older you become, the wiser you become. So you've been through some stuff. You, you've you done all the things that everybody is trying to accomplish today. You know what I'm saying? And now you can look back and reflect and say, how can I do this another way? You know what I'm saying? So I didn't like the fact that they killed their comrades, though, because that was like that part of it just didn't make sense to me. You get what I'm saying? Like, did he, you know, it kind of like seemed like he made the decision after the fact when he realized um, at this point, I don't have enough to do anything because they lost so many people. So might as well just kill the rest and play the victim, I guess, and see if I can get my son Magnus at least. Be, um, he in, He's saying that he had he has no intention of going back or retreating. So I don't know what what is going to happen here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. So, um, of course, Judas, they're looking good. Aethelwolf, you know, looking for Ragnar. We, we got to see King Eckbert 
um, and what's going on in the other places that plots were taking place. We have not seen the Emperor yet, but we've seen Rolo and, um, was it Grizzla? Grizzla, his wife. They got three kids now. You know what I'm saying? And he decided to go with Bjorn because Bjorn was asking for safe passage, which he said he was going to do. Um, so he said, like, the only way you're going to have safe passage is if I can come with you. So basically they're trying to, you know, in my opinion, if I was writing the show, I would not redeem Rolo's character at this point. I'm going to tell you why I wouldn't do it. Rolo has proven time and time again that he will pick everything over being with him. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, why is it that this role that he has to play can't be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the hatred needs to remain now because we realize that this dude, you've come out from under the shadow. And now you want to go back into the fold and expect them to trust you? I mean, I, I know Bjorn... Is not going to try to kill his uncle. I'm, and that's been been set up in the series forever. She, he just doesn't have it in him to kill Rolo like that in cold blood. I think he wants to punish him in certain ways. You know what I'm saying? For the betrayal. But at the same time, I don't think he has the... I don't think he he would go the, 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 the length to kill him. You know what I'm saying? I would more put that on Ragnar... Ragnar would do that. I think Floki would do it too. Um, but Bjorn, no, not so much. Like he he didn't come off convincing like he was actually going to kill him. Um, so he pulled him back up. Because at the end of the day, he still needs him. Because if you kill Rolo, you don't have safe passage to go along the coastline. So he really had to look at that. So I don't know what Ragnar's plan is, to be honest. I don't know. But I think what he, because he tell him to act like a cripple, like he, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can't do anything. You can't fight. You can't do nothing. So I, I believe that he's planning to go play the victim and see if he can get his son out of there. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think, but if Magnus is probably as old as any of, you know, his other sons, they should be uh, maybe a little bit younger, but still, you know what I'm saying? Like they were still kids maybe six maybe seven years old probably so um at that time when when magnus was born i want to say so there so magnus is probably pretty older now maybe you know it's been years i don't they they didn't show exactly how many years the time skip was so you don't we don't really know we know magnus was a baby so we'll see how that turns out but it's going to be interesting these conversations <clears throat> that are going to happen throughout all of this so i'm definitely looking forward to it man it's been cool to come back and watch some more some more vikings man so make sure you hit that like button make sure you leave a comment in the comment section and as always man subscribe if you knew there's more vikings to come i'm gonna try to put out some more episodes for y'all um before the weekend ends um but we'll see we'll see that's not a promise but i definitely will be doing some other shows um putting out some more episodes because i know i have not been uploading very often lately okay so i'm gonna try to get back in you guys good graces for next week even though i know next week it's christmas time and you know new year's is the next week so next couple of weeks we should be good things are gonna start slowing down again for me and i can finally get back to doing youtube because i love doing it so much anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man support terror by reacts remember gratitude is never enough peace